In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to track your tasks. The tasks are the individual things that you've created for yourself as reminders for things you have to do. To track them, you have to go to the tasks page. Once you launch Outlook, if you're working from the inbox, as most people do, you can get to the tasks area by going to the navigation bar in the lower left corner and click the tasks icon. It looks like a little clipboard. If you don't see the tasks icon, you can click the three dots here in the lower left corner and look for the tasks link here. Once you click tasks, it brings you to the tasks page where it shows a list of the tasks that you've created. If you want to look at the details of a task and edit it, all you have to do is find the task you want and double click. It opens up that individual task and from here you can make any changes you want to make. You can change the status of the task, for example from not started to in progress, and uh, you can also choose the complete percentage, how much of the task has already been completed. You can change the priority of the task if you wish, and you can set reminders for yourself if you wish to do so. When you're finished making the edits, you can click Save and Close in the upper left corner. Another thing you can do with a task is to assign it to other people. In this example, there is a task saying that you want to pick up the new letterhead envelopes from the printer. Perhaps you don't have time to do this and you want to assign it to another person. In the Manage Task group here on the Task ribbon, you can click the Assign Task button. When you do that, it opens up a couple of different things. First of all, you have a To area here where you can click to or type the name of the person or the email of the person who is going to be assigned this task. You can click to and choose the person's name, double click on that person's name, click OK, and then when you're ready you can send this to that person so that they are notified of the task. In addition, you have an area down here that where you can type a message to that person asking them or letting them know what you're having them do. Also, there are a couple of choices here to keep you apprised of how this task is coming along. You can put a check mark here, which is the default anyway to have a check mark, keep an updated copy of this task on my own task list, and send me a status report when this task is complete. So Outlook provides a way for you to keep track not only of the tasks you assign to yourself, but also the tasks you assign to other people. When you're finished, you're going to click Save and Close. In addition to the Tasks window, there's also a To-Do List window. To-Do List and Tasks are up here in the upper left area under My Tasks, and to show the window that you want, just click on the one that you want, To-Do List. A To-Do List is, of course, a list of all the different tasks that you have created and it offers you a glance, at a glance, the different situations and circumstances of each task. For example, if you look at this task where it says envelopes and you hover the mouse over this area, it will give you detailed information about when the task was created, when is it due, is there a reminder set up or not, and so on. Again, from here, you can double click on a task to open it, edit it, save and close it. You can assign categories to tasks and you can also assign follow-up flags to tasks as well. You can remove a task, you can mark it as complete, and you can pretty much make any changes you need to a task and to your to-do list. And that concludes the lesson on tracking tasks.